Stuart, uh, sum up your disappointment at a cup defeat here in penalty kicks. I've got it naturally. Um, you know, I thought Hamilton were a better side first half. I don't think we got to grips with the thing. I mean, said that we had a couple of decent moves and didn't pick the right pass in the in the final third. Um, but I thought second half we, we 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 started on top and you know the boy once they go down to ten men, I thought we played it well. You know, we've made some great chances. The goalie's made an unbelievable save of Figures. Um, we've hit the post and bar inside a few seconds, and, and when that happens, you begin to think. It's not going to be our night, but um, a couple of strange things tonight. I mean, the, the booking of Michael Brown, his first booking, and the referee's blow, blown for um, half time. Nothing said we've come off the park. Um, you know, the referee's been harangued by a few, a few Hamilton people. And next minute we're sat in there, then the fourth official comes in and, and wants to speak to him. So we went in and he gave him a yellow card. Um, so why he didn't give him on the park? Why he didn't give him that? I've no idea. I've never seen that in my, in my life. I think it was a yellow card. I thought it was a good tackle, but he comes in from behind. But I mean, why not just book him there and then? And when things like that happen, you start to think, you know, there's something going on. But his second one, it's not even, I don't even think it's a foul. His body strength, the boy, you know. Um, at, at the most, I, I wouldn't even give a free kick, if I'm honest. It might be a, a soft free kick but to book him. Um, but we always fail, and you always do. You always think that they're going to even it up. That's why we took Vigas off. Vigas kicks a ball in the middle of the park, gets a book in. Their boy, out of frustration, kicks a ball, ball in the stand when they're down to 10 men. Not a thing. So the inconsistencies tonight. Listen, we can't blame the referee um, all the time, but I just felt, you know, for him to even it up when we, you know, we were we were well on top, um, but we just couldn't find that goal. And um, yet again, it's, uh, it's as if we're bum and jinxed at times. But there was another incident. I don't want to focus too much on the referee, um, but we denied that what looked like a clear penalty at Celtic Park on Sunday for a handball. Mm. There was a, a situation almost very similar, maybe slightly closer this time. Did you feel it was a penalty? No, I, I said, I've, I've stopped even claiming for penalty kicks. We don't, you know, it's not. It was a shot, everyone claimed for it. I don't know, the boys come out and blocked it. It happened too quick. I've seen it again, it probably hit his hand, but I can understand the referee maybe not giving it happened so quick and, you know, you probably weren't sure where it hit him, but... Um, Does that add to the overall feeling of frustration? Uh, uh, the frustration is not being in the next round, you know. As I say, apart from the first half performance, you know, we got stronger, we did better, slightly better. Um, but the, the, you know, I think the main, the major decision, you know, to send O'Brien off when we were, were in control of the game, changed the game, and you know, nobody, I don't think, had many chances there after, apart from that one had flashed one across the goal. But um, yeah, it's just, uh, just want to be yet again here. You mentioned it earlier on, just in an answer. You think you're costing cup competitions when, when Nicky, sorry, Josh Law's going through and goal, he's got Lionel, can he square it? Goes in the net, hits a bar, and then hits a post. Do you? I think at that point, yeah, at that point, yeah, you do, you do, you do. I mean, it's twice we've gone out on penalty kicks. Um, we can look back at other cup, cup. I mean, the Albion Rovers won here. We know Rangers won. The other games, Aberdeen twice. Boy sent off, missed a penalty. A um, couple of decisions again. But um, yeah, it's you know nobody wants to do better and more in cups and then group of lads in there for the supporters who were outstanding again tonight. But you know, as I say, you know, you need luck in, in football and. You know, the, the save from Vigas was incredible. Um, should no right to get it. Great save. And the and the, the post and the bar one, you know, if that goes in then, you know, the game's wrapped up and it's all over. But I think the key thing was to say we're we're, we're balancing it out, sending Mark O'Brien off for a you know, an, an absolute shocking decision. What do you do now? How do you pick the players up? Because obviously Hamilton Aki is a big game again on Saturday at Fur Park. Yeah, well, we'll make a lot of changes for Saturday, that's sure, because there's a lot of people running on empty there. Um, a few have got a little late, late injuries and stuff like that, but um, we'll reassess it tomorrow and have a look at it. And the one thing we can't afford to do is feel sorry for ourselves. We've got to start climbing that league and getting points on the board. Um, we'll be up, up against um, you know, rejuvenated Hamilton again, no doubt. And they, they've proved why they're up there, because they're very hard to, to break down. Um, well disciplined, well marshalled. And as I say on this surface, I always find it difficult to create and score goals. Um, but, you know, we got Fur Park on Saturday, and we, 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 you know, the way I feel, it's, uh, you know, it's a long way away, but, you know, come tomorrow on Friday, we've got to make sure we're ready, the staff and the, and the um, players are ready for Saturday. Thanks, Chip. Cheers.